Okay, here we are for the um, the instructions for part one of this assessment. So you're going to click on this assessment. Oops. This assessment will take you. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing real quick. It will take you to this page. So this says, welcome to the ONET Interest Profiler. The ONET Interest Profiler can help you find out what your interests are and how they relate to the world of work. You can find out what you like to do. The ONET Interest Profiler helps you decide what kinds of careers you might want to explore. On each screen, click the next button at the bottom and to continue. You can use the back button at the bottom to reread the instructions or change your answers. So now um, we are going to begin. Um, this, here's how it works. The ONET Interest Profiler has 60 questions about work activities that some people do on their jobs. So it's going to have a list of all the different types of work activities that people do on their job. Read each question carefully and decide how you feel would feel about doing each type of work. So do you strongly disagree? See that is like he has his tongue out. He's like, eh. no, that's something that you do not like. You strongly dislike. Um, you dislike. I see they got a sad face. That means something you don't like. You're unsure. You're, you're not sure if you like it or you don't like it. You like it, see the happy face, or you really like it with a big smiley face. So for each activity, there's gonna be 60 of them, you're gonna pick one of these. Now, on this next page, I'm gonna tell you, try not to think about if you have had enough education or training to do the work or how much money you would make doing the work. Just think about if you would like or dislike doing the job, okay? So just think about when you read it, is that something you would like to do, you don't like to do, you really like to do, you really don't like to do, what is it? There are no right or wrong answers. Please take your time answering the questions. There's no need to rush. You are learning about your interests so that you can explore work you might like and find rewarding. On the next screen, please answer each question in order before continuing. There are five screens of questions in all. You can change your answer at any time. Use the back button to return to an earlier screen. So here we can go next and we can go back, okay? All right, so I'm gonna read each one of these for you, but please, when you're doing this, pick your own answers. I don't know if you're gonna do it the same time I'm, re I'm reading this um, aloud to you or you're listening to this video, um, but pick your own answers. So the first one says, build cabinets. Do you like that? Sure, I do. Um, and see, once you click that button, for the first one, it will let you go to the next one. You can't click down here to seven, nine. You can't, you have to do it in order. So make sure you're doing it in order. The next one, lay brick or tile. I don't like to do that. Develop a new medicine. I don't like to do that. I really don't like to do that. Study new ways or study ways to reduce water pollution. Eh, I don't like to do that. Write books or plays. Mm, that sounds kind of interesting, so I'd say I like that. Um, play a musical instrument. Mm, I think I would like that. Teach an individual an exercise. I like that. Help people with, a, with personal or emotional problems. Um, that one I'm not so sure about, so I'm gonna put that in the unsure category, okay? Buy and sell buy and sell stocks and bonds. Uh, I don't like that. Manage a retail store. Uh, okay, I like that. Develop a spreadsheet using, a, using computer software. 
I might like that. Proofread records or forms. No, that's okay. So you're going to go to the next one. This is page two. We have, uh, there's this one and three more. Repair household appliances. Raise fish in a fish hatchery. So it's like a fish farm. Conduct chemical experiments. Study the movement of planets. And I've clicked all of these because none of these really pique my interest. But if they pique your interest, then you're going to click them on the like button, okay? Compose or arrange music. Uh, maybe I'll like that. Draw pictures. Sure, I like that. Give career guidance to people. I really like that. Perform rehabilitation therapy. Mm, might be okay. Operate a beauty salon or barbershop. Yeah, I'd like that. Manage a department within a large company. Install software across computers on a large network. Operate a calculator. So I've picked different buttons. Um, so then I'm gonna click next. Assemble electronic parts. Mm, no, not really. Drive a truck to deliver packages to offices and homes. Examine blood samples using a microscope. No. Investigate the cause of a fire. Nah. Create special effects for a movie. Maybe. Paint sets for plays. Maybe. Yeah, I like that. Do volunteer work at a nonprofit organization. I think I'd like that. Teach children how to play sports. No, not really. Start your own business. Yeah, I think I really like that. Negotiate business contracts. No. Keep shipping and receiving records. Sure, I like to keep records. Calculate the wages of employees. Sure, I would like that. So let's say I thought about something on the last page that I was like, hmm, I need to change my answer. So you can always hit this back button and it can take you to you know the 13 through 24 or even the first page. You know, it can take you back through all of this, okay? If you, if you want to change your answer, if you started to think about something. Okay, so now we're gonna go to page four or five of the questions. Number 37, test the quality of parts before shipment. No. Repair and install locks. Yeah. Develop a way to better predict the weather. No. Work in a biology lab. No. Write scripts for movies or TV shows, maybe. Perform jazz or tap dance. Nah. Teach sign language to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Yeah, maybe. Help conduct a group therapy session. Maybe. Represent a client, a client in a lawsuit. I really don't want to do that. Market a new line of clothing. That'd be cool. I think I really would like that. Inventory supplies using a handheld computer. Sure. Record rent payments, sure. 49, set up and operate machines to make products. Hmm, meh. Put out forest fires, no. Invent a replacement for sugar, no. Do library tests to identify diseases. Sing in a band, hmm. Maybe. Edit movies. Maybe. Take care of children at a daycare center. Um, maybe. Teach a high school class. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> uh, sell merchandise at a department store. Manage a clothing store. Keep inventory records. Sort, stamp, and distribute mail for organization. Nah, not really. See, all of these things here I liked, these I didn't like, okay? So that's what you're trying to do is figure out all these things. Okay, so now 
If you wanted to, it says, great job, you answered all the questions. You can review or change your answers at any time by selecting the back button at the bottom of the screen or return to the first screen of questions with the button below. So you can turn, return to the first page and go back through them all if you wanted to, or if you wanted to double check. Um, if you are unsure for any of the questions, you might wish to review them now. You can print or change your answers using the button below. Um, so you could click and see all your unsure answers. Oh, just one. So, I mean, if you have a bunch of unsure, you might want to, um, you might want to change some of your answers because if you click unsure, unsure, unsure on everything, you're probably not going to get a very accurate picture. I mean, obviously we're, you know, at this stage of our life, we might be unsure of what we want to do, or what we might like because we don't have experience with that, but you want to try to, you know, have some, you know, decent amount of you like and you don't like, like things you like and things you don't like. Uh, when you are ready, use the next button to see your interest profile. So here we'll hit next. All right, so this is what our interest profile is, okay? So there's different areas, those different areas I was telling you about, realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, conventional. We need to know, I need to know the numbers you have. So I don't know if you want to take a screenshot. Um, my screenshot button is command four. No, command three is my screenshot button. I will have to figure out what your screenshot button is. Or you can just write it down. And see uh, at the top, they have, um, at the top here, they have R I. A S E C and these relate to see how they they relate to each one so R is realistic and you could write down get a piece of paper and a pen and write down R and I have 12 that's mine obviously when you do yours yours will be different then there's I for investigative you can just write down I and nine the next one is artistic you can make an A, letter A, and put 29. Uh, social, which is S, and that is a 28. Enterprising is an E, 23. And last but not least, conventional is a C, and that's a 24. So basically, I just took my um, numbers and I wrote those down. You must keep track of these numbers, okay? The, these numbers, if you, especially if you don't have a printer and you can't print this out. So for example, I have a printer so I could print this out. And I, it says, in group settings, you can identify your printed copy with your name. So you could write your name at the top. And if you have a printer, you can print it out, okay? But this gives you information, um, about what you your answers you picked and the things you liked and didn't like to do so my highest scores were artistic the a the social is an s and the conventional is a c artistic social and conventional so artistic i had 28 social 28 conventional 24 right so down here it tells me um what that category means so realistic realistic um, people with realistic interests like work that includes practical hands-on problem problems and answers often people with realistic interests do not like careers that involve paperwork or working closely with others and then this is what if you had a high number in this this is something that you might like they like working with plants and animals real real world materials like wood tools and machinery working outside right if you had a high number in investigative investigative yeah mine is a nine so people with investigative interests like to uh, like work that has to do with ideas and thinking rather than physical activity or leading people they like searching for facts figuring out problems so they like to look for clues and solve things right Artistic. My score was high in artistic. It was a tie between artistic and social. 
People with artistic interests like work that deals with artistic side of things such as acting, music, art, and design. So if you had a high interest in that, they like creativity in their work, work that can be done without following a set of rules. Social, social, social was another one of mine. So uh, your score 28, people with social interests like working with others to help them learn and grow. They like working with people more than working with objects, machines, or information. They like teaching, giving advice, helping, and being of service to people. Obviously, I, I better have a high score in this considering I'm a teacher, right? Um, enterprising is a 23, so that's another high one, but I just have another one that's just higher than that. So um, enterprising, people in, with enterprising interests like work that has to do with starting up and carrying out business projects. These people like acting, or I'm sorry, they like taking action rather than thinking about things. They like persuading and leading people, making decisions, taking risks for profits. And then finally, conventional. That was my third highest one. People with conventional interests like work that follows set procedures and routines. They prefer working with information and paying attention to detail rather than working with ideas. They like working with clear rules, following a strong leader. So um, what, if you have a printer, go ahead and print this out, right? So I'm gonna print this out. Okay. But then I'm gonna go back to where we were. So I'm gonna close that out up here. So now, um, for this part, keep, even take a picture. If you, if you don't wanna write it down, Take your phone, take a picture of your numbers. That's another way to do it, okay? I've got my numbers, so take a picture, write it down. You need to have your numbers, all right? So now, I'm gonna stop sharing this and go back to our Canvas, because we're jumping out of Canvas for just a minute. Now I wanna jump back in Canvas. Okay. So again, this is part one of our assignment. So you hit this link, takes you directly to the career assessment. Answer the 60 questions. These are all the 60 questions you need to you know, mark on here. And then here's your results. Obviously, when I did this the first time, I had a different result. I changed my answers a little bit, but generally it got, um, the artistic one was not on there but these ones right here. So it can change if you have different answers, it will change. But make sure you have these answers, right? Because now I'm gonna go down here, it says complete the quiz and answer what you scored in realistic. So this green one, realistic, investigative, the pink one, artistic, the yellow one, social is the purple one here, Enterprising is the orange one, and conventional, the blue one. So now, type your score for a realistic. So like I said, we have either a picture of it, or this, or you printed out the report. So previously, my answer was 12, like on this one that I took, right? 12, so I'm gonna write 12, okay? For investigative, that was a nine, I'm gonna put that there. Artistic, on this one it said 28. Uh, for social, type what you had for social, that's a 28. Enterprising, 23, so you're gonna hit 23. You know, not you won't, you'll write what yours is. And then conventional, 24. So you'll write those in, type just the number, just the number, and you'll hit the submit quiz button, okay? So that's all I need you to do for part one, okay? But you have to have these numbers, not only for this assignment, but you need it for tomorrow's part two. So do not lose these um, numbers, okay? Uh, you can exit, after you've done this, you can exit out of that uh, profile, you can do all of that, um, because I'll show you a, like a, a, 
a quick way to get to your answers again if you need to, but you have to have, you have to have these numbers. Okay, you have to have these numbers for tomorrow, for the next part, and for your quiz today. So please, again, I broke this down into two parts. So this is, um, you know, the first part of it. Um, so if that is all, if you have any questions, give me a call, shoot me an email, um, I'll be around. And uh, otherwise, I will see you um, tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.